I just found the best thrift flip idea ever. Let peace stress free, let it be. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Ashley, and today we are going to be doing a really cool thrift flip thing that I saw actually on TikTok I found the idea. I'll have the user's username linked down below where I found it so that you can go check out her video as well. Her video on TikTok. But I believe her at is like underscore Cindy Liu. Liu L-I-U something like that. And I came across her video literally this morning and I was like I have to do that and i actually had another video planned for today but we are doing this because it was such a good thrift flip idea that i was like i cannot pass this up <laughs> so what we're going to be doing is taking a pair of jeans and turning it into a pleated denim skirt you know those like really trendy ones where it's like not pleated all the way i actually do have another video where i made a pleated denim skirt where it's like pleated all the way to the top and that'll be linked right here if you want to go watch it but this one is one of those ones that is like flat like around your hips and then it's pleated like super trendy super like y2k all over depop for like 60 dollars whatever those kinds of skirts that's what we're going to be making so a while ago i actually thrifted these black levi's jeans really really great condition and they fit me really really nicely around the waist the only problem is that they're a little bit too short and that's because they're like child's Levi jeans I'm pretty sure. So my inspiration for them originally was like oh I can make them into like capris or I can make them into like shorts and they're this really nice like straight leg jeans you know but I just wasn't feeling any of that. I was like I have enough shorts. I have like one or two pairs of capris like I don't really need more. I don't wear them like that often but I have been obsessed with skirts so now I finally have a project that I can do with these jeans and I can get a new skirt out of it. So I'll try them on for you real quick just so that you can see a before of what they look like before and watch until the end to see how I make it into a little pleated mini skirt. I think it's gonna be so cute. The tutorial looked like so simple and like duh that I was like how have I not thought of this? So I'm so 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 excited to try it. Ah, so excited. <laughs> and if you like this video or you find it helpful be sure to give me a thumbs up down below so that I know. Also comment down below what is one of your favorite trendy items right now? What are you loving? One item specifically that you're just like obsessed with right now? I want to know because maybe I don't know about it. I want to keep up on all the trends you know. <laughs> And if you want to see more videos like this slash more videos just from me, be sure to subscribe down below as well. All right, let me show you what they look like on and then we will get started turning them into a skirt. Okay, so these are them. They are pretty short. They barely come to like my ankles. And also I just remembered when I put them on why I didn't really like them that much. And that's because they're just really, really tight like around my thighs. So these are them, a little 360. All right. Now, let's get started. Okay, so all of the videos I took yesterday did not record any audio for whatever reason, so here we are trying out this method of explaining what I'm doing. So to start out, I folded the pants in half and made sure there was no wrinkles, and then I cut right under the crotch, which I actually ended up going and changing after. I don't really think it makes a difference either way. If you cut right under the crotch, then you're gonna have like a skirt situation where you have shorts underneath, and if you cut right above, then you're just gonna have a skirt. But I went back and watched the video and noticed that she just had it as like a skirt. So that was how I did mine, which ended up working out since it was a little bit tight on my hips anyway. I also ended up cutting this line at more of a diagonal like you would do if you were making like denim shorts or something. So just keep in mind to try to keep it like as straight as possible. And then I used the pant legs for the pleats. So I started by cutting off the side seams because I didn't want like the bulkiness and also the bottom seam because it was just bulky down there too and I wasn't going to use it. And then I just cut very even rectangular strips out of the pant legs as wide as I could get. I tried to use as much fabric as I could without again getting those like side seams. For my body I ended up using three of these rectangles so I ended up using one of the ones that I had cut before as like a reference so that I could have it the exact same width on the other pant leg. So then I matched up the ends of the three strips that I made to make one long strip. I pretty much just took one strip and the other strip and put the ends together so that like the right side would not have the raw edges showing and the wrong side would have the raw edges showing. This is going to be the pleated part of your skirt so you want your lines to be super straight and you want it to be pretty long obviously unless you're making like the shortest mini skirt ever <laughs> but yeah you definitely want your lines to be super straight that's very important for this part and once i had those three strips pinned together i just went with a straight stitch down to hold that together and then also a zigzag stitch just to reinforce it which isn't a necessary step it's just something that i like to do sometimes and then I cut the little bit of excess fabric off of the part that I just sewed. It wasn't a lot and I was careful to not cut like the stitches that I had just made, but I didn't want it to be like bulky and like sticking. You know what I mean? I thought it would like lay flat better if I 
cut it. <laughs> so then the hardest part and the part that I had to redo like a bajillion times was pleating. Pleating is really, really hard. It also eats up a ton of fabric, which is why I needed all three strips, even though two would have fit like around where I needed it to fit. I just like needed that extra fabric. Initially, I was making the pleats the way that I learned how to make pleats and also making them smaller than I actually wanted them and then I should have been. So that ate up so much fabric. So I actually ended up sewing the fourth strip on, making my really long strip even longer so that I would have more fabric, which I did not end up needing to do. Um, I just did it for nothing, I guess. <laughs> then I actually went back and watched the video and saw that she was doing her pleats a different way. So here I'm showing you how she did the pleats. She left a lot more fabric and used just a little bit of fabric to do the actual pleat part. And then she was making them a lot bigger. So that is what I did with mine and I really like the way that it turned out, but it took me so many tries, pleating and repleating and unpleating and all of that. <laughs> And then once I had the pleats pinned where I wanted them, I actually went back to my sewing machine and just did a straight stitch all along right on the top. It didn't have to be perfect, you're not gonna see it. I did that just to hold the pleats in place so that they're not moving around and so that I'm not like stabbing myself with a bunch of pins while I'm trying to fit it on the skirt. So that was really, really helpful. Strongly advise doing that. <laughs> then the final time I actually pinned it around the skirt to see where it was gonna end and then I drew a line where I needed to sew it because I wanted to sew the pleated part together before I sewed the pleated part onto the skirt. So then I unpinned the pleated part from the skirt and just pinned together where the edge of the pleated part was and the line that I drew was and then I sewed that seam together the way that I sewed the other seams on the pleated strip together just with a straight stitch and then reinforced with a zigzag stitch and cutting off the excess fabric. Once I had the final seam together I just snipped off that extra little bit of fabric that I had on the strip and just was left with this like circle pleated mini very tiny skirt. Then I went in for the final pin. So to start pinning it on the skirt I turned the pleated part of the skirt inside out and then I had the top part of the skirt right side out. Then I turned the pleated part of the skirt upside down and put the top part of the skirt into like the circle of the pleated part of the skirt. So then the position that you want the skirt in when you're pinning it is the raw edge bottom of the top part of the skirt and the top part of the pleats should be together. I actually wanted mine a little bit shorter though, so I ended up pinning it up right underneath of the zipper. I like my skirts a little bit shorter, so that was just how I preferred to wear it. But if you do want it a little bit longer, you can just line it up right there with the bottom. Also because I was pinning it up so high, I actually took off like half of the front pockets and also half of the back pockets, which is okay with me. I think that it looks really unique and I didn't really have another choice because I didn't have that much fabric underneath of the back pockets anyway. But again, I'm okay with it because it is the length that I want it to be and it just looks pretty cool, in my opinion. <laughs> but as I'm pinning, I'm making sure that the top part of the skirt isn't like wrinkled anywhere and also the pleated part is straight. I want them as straight as possible because this is how I'm gonna sew it. So then once I had everything all pinned where I wanted it, I went over to my sewing machine and just did a straight stitch right along where I pinned it. Again, making sure that everything is straight and also the bottom part of the skirt that I'm not sewing, like the other side of like the circle, isn't getting stuck underneath because that does happen a lot to me. So yeah, I'm being extra careful about that. I don't know about anybody else, but it happens to me a lot. So I just did a straight stitch all around, making sure it was straight and everything was really nice and even. Then I added something that I don't usually add to most of my projects, which is top stitching. And that's because it felt like the part of the skirt where it's like the skirt and then like the pleat starts right here. This part was like going out a lot. And when I tried it on, it just looked like poofy and I didn't want that. So I thought maybe if I top stitched it, it would push it down more. Again, I don't know. I don't usually top stitch. I was just trying it out. <laughs> so I did a top stitch, which is pretty much just a straight stitch that like you see from the outside. So I wanted it to be super nice and clean and straight and I did it really close to the seam. I didn't want to take away like too much of that skirt part either, like the pleated part. I just kind of wanted it like held down, if that makes sense. So I very carefully did the straightest straight stitch of my life, I'm pretty sure. And it just ended up making the skirt so, so much better. I'm so happy that I did the top stitch. I should probably do that on more of my projects, honestly. Uh, but yeah, so if you're trying this project for yourself, highly advise using the top stitch to hold the like pleated part down. Otherwise it just kind of looks like, you know? <laughs> and then finally, I cut off the excess fabric at the bottom because I did end up sewing the pleats up so high. This isn't necessary, especially if you're doing like the squirt version of this because you're gonna have the shorts underneath. But I just didn't want the extra fabric where it wasn't needed. It was bulky and annoying. So I just cut it off. In the video, she did hem the raw edge at the bottom, but I actually really like it. I think it's gonna look cool when I wash it and everything. It was gonna like fray a lot, which it did a little bit, not too much. But I left mine as a raw edge. You could totally just fold it over and hem it if you want to personal preference. So a project that I thought was gonna take like an hour max ended up taking me until the middle of the night. So I thought that I would do a proper try on here with good lighting the next day. <laughs> Let me put it on and I will show you. Okay, so here it is. Full 360. This is it. This is the final product. This is the black 
denim Y2K skirt of my dreams. So I did actually wash and dry it last night just to see how much it would fray. And it didn't fray as much as I thought it would, but it still frayed a little bit. But I'm so really happy that I left the raw edge the way it is. I think it looks really cool, especially because the rest of the skirt is just kind of like plain. So the raw edge just gives it a little something extra. <laughs> I was so, so happy with the way that this turned out, even though it was a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. This was a really fun project, a really cool thrift flip to do. These kinds of skirts are on Depop for like $60. I think I got these jeans for like $15. I thrifted them, like Levi's jeans for like $15. <laughs> and now I have one of those skirts that are selling for $60 for $15 and a little bit of my time. <laughs> Making this skirt obviously took some trial and error with the pleats and everything, but hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and it won't take you as many errors <laughs> to get it right. Yeah, I'm so, so happy with the way that this turned out. I think it's so cute. I have the perfect little skirt for spring, summer, whatever. <laughs> if you're trying this for yourself, I hope that yours comes out just this cute. If not cuter, because you can do so much with just like this like plain skirt. You can add stuff to it, whatever. You could just make it so like cute and unique. I'm sure you'll think of great things. <laughs> So that is it for this video. Again, shout out to Cindy Liu on TikTok for this great thrift flip idea. And thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you enjoyed this result. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up down below. And also don't forget to comment down below what one of your favorite trendy pieces is right now. And also if you wanna see more videos like this and more videos from me, feel free to press the subscribe button down below so that you don't miss those. All right, thank you all so much again for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.